Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pokemon. My name is DeadM, and we are currently in quote unquote Area Zero. We're just trying to walk our way down. I think we're going to put you in front. There we are. So it helps to my gym and oh dear lord. Nobody cares about you. Battle Dragon Pulse. Battle Dragon Pulse. Just piss off. Neighbors back home. Plus, I said we shouldn't aim for championship. Come on. Hold it right there, you two. You have friendship, origin stories, and dad having to compare to me and him went through. Nobody asked. Oh, dear Lord. Are you guys seriously fighting over who's better friends with this NPC character? Fooey, 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 fooey. Ooh. Yes, there we are. Flare Blitz. You know, this doesn't work when my bike. There we go. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's why I just said screw it and jumped off the cliff. <laughs> Must be one of those buildings the professor was talking about. Yeah, they're called... Uh, raid dish rations? Research stations. Really? Huh, well, I was close. No, you weren't. You weren't close at all. Wow, must have such great memory, Penny. Uh, really, it wasn't that long ago. Well, I mean, it was a couple of episodes for you guys. You know, two episodes. But it wasn't like it was f for these characters. It's literally less than, you know, an hour. Oh my goodness. So, uh, dang it, my mic is falling down. No! Err. Uh, there we go. But, but, no. There we go. Is that better? I hope so. All right. There we go. Shreen. Wow, what the heck is that? Well, I mean, you know, the lady had one. That's a Pokemon the Prima uses. I didn't know the species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Denim. Let's take it on together. It is not that scary of a Pokemon.
Forgot to update my text. Silly me. Fight and Dragon Pulse. Good job. All over. these rare Pokemon down here you think it's a shame I ended up with a steely bird easy for you to just head inside the research station all right I sure hope there's more than just area zero Do 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 Whoa, these are ancient ruins. No, they're not. They look far too recent for that. Well, thank you. It appears you've reached the first research research station without incident. This facility is constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. <sighs> so that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up a bit if we need to. If you would like, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock at the lab using the control panel well first things first yes we are going to rest up a bit not because I need to but because why the frick not and now we will we'll push the button and disable the lock lock disabled three or four locks are still active you know Continue your efforts and remain in the research station. Why would you be locked from the outside of where you are? I mean, wouldn't that be like a safety concern thing? Like, you should be able to unlock yourself when you're inside of a place, not... <sighs> you know, unless you're a prisoner. Hmm. Anyways, off we go. No reason to dilly dally. Dilly dally shilly shally. Almost never saw my mom's whole life. I am whining, whining, whining. Oh, here's your backstory. Well, I just want my gosh darn bike to come back out. Cooked all by myself. I'm a whiner. Wine, wine, wine. Yep. Uh, you can't go and send out a Pokemon right now because I'm too busy going and whining and whining and whining about how deep and epic this lore should be. But it's not. You know, because we couldn't bother to go and make you actually listen to this lore. No. We just want to go and make sure that you know that's going on in the background. I mean... Wouldn't that be fun? Hurried back to the other so I wouldn't get separated. Son of a biscuit. Why didn't you guys follow me down? 
That was the best assort cut ever. All right, fine, whatever. So if the text for the area ever changes, I really hope I can get a fire or a poison or an ice Pokemon. Because that's where I'm lacking, really. Hey, more acorn dudes. <laughs> All right, second research station. It's about time, too. Let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd be a bit more stamina, student council girl. Hee hee ho. I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Whoa, hey, look at Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here. Why does Jigglypuff have a dragon tail? <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute! Poo. Wah! What the wah? It has a dragon tail. It's battle time! Good job. Dark Pulse, not very effective. Air Slash. Nope, we're swapping. Play rough is too rough. William J. Looks like it's still fairy type Pokemon. Doesn't affect Umbreon. Ooh. What a nice combo. Giga Drain. Hyper Voice. Good job. Dark Pulse. Not bad. Giga Drain. You're dead. Mickey and Minnie family is gaining some levels. Good job. Seriously, what was that? 
darn thing scared him, me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside a ray. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. <clears throat> Wasn't really a jump scare. Like I said, it has a dragon tail. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? <laughs> oh, sorry. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descend further into Area Zero, I've begun to catch a, catch a glimpse of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wonder if these huge, ferocious beasts were in, indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow as such a beast was mortally wounded, facing, forcing us to retreat for time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph. By chance, I noticed a passing resemblance to Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as sheer size and shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Dead M? I uh, don't think they're regular Pokemon. Hmm, maybe they definitely look different. At least I've seen them anyways. Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor? Some of the life forms that you see residing in Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in the distant past, long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. Lab, the labs, the Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons ancient Pokemon to this place. So... The thing my mom spent forever researching down here? She actually got it working? Indeed. Though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But the time machine. You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It's a theoretically possible, possible to travel to the past. However, for being s such a, as a human, it would be not possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Avon, I... Uh, if possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It would be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Dedem, please use the central panel here to disable another lock on my lab. Two of four locks are unlocked. Well done. Please continue your efforts on the remaining research stations. Hey, did M. You know the book she told me to bring? I think it got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> 
take care of it for me, okay, Didem? Yes, I will rest for a bit. Hello, doggo. Are you gonna make noise for the mic? And bother me? No? Okay. Full of energy. Yes. Good job. Parents like Norma. My parents? Norma, I guess. Oh, my dear lord, it won't let me go and put out a frickin' harvesting XP along the way. Oh. I thought, yeah, I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off in a good way. My big sister probably take over the business. Wait, you call them mother and father? Some pampered of little princess, I guess. I mean, it's not like she said mommy dearest. Ooh. Sparkly, sparkly. Aerial ace, ooh. Now saving. Wild mint. More of those weird buggies. Research station right there. Let's get to there, and then after we get to that research station, after they do their little story bit, I will save and we will be a okay. Anyways, while we're on our way, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things. Woohoo! All right, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Ah, Penny, you're such a worrywart. Huh? Great, uh, Don Fan. See? Wait a second. It's just like the Titan Pokemon we saw. So it's an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa, you battled one of these before, Avon? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Dead and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave it to us. Oh, dear Lord. Sixty-two. Okay. Air slash is super effective. Yeah, I'll do it. Brick break, not very effective. Huh. That was a ground type Pokemon. We're not learning charm. Sixty 
see, victory is ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out for Herb Mystica came down here. You two got to meet one of the Pokemon before our crater together. I'm jealous. Uh, of all things, literally ancient times roaming around Paldea. That's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sag doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? <clears throat> yeah, right. Because it's not like oh-so-brilliant Professor Seda ever messed up. Come on, Dedem. Let's get into the research station. All right. And made it. Station number three. How are we doing after all this walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feel, feeling rough, Penny? No, it's not that. I've just been thinking since Professor mentioned that time machine. Pokemon in the Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Corridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Think you're into something. It's kind of giving off ancient vibes, and the, even its name sounds pasty. Wait a second. I totally forgot. Hey, Ervin. You had Corridon's ball and told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Er, you still remember that way back? No wonder you're everybody's star pupil. I guess I got no choice then but to tell you what I know. The Pokemon Cordon, that is. It's found by my mom when she was working on the time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor? Cordon, which I entrusted to Dead M was the first Pokemon that I successfully revived from the past by a time machine. Seriously? Though, analysis of the genetic makeup, as well as its behavior patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Psylizard, the Pokemon still commonly ridden in this re region. Well, that makes great sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came from this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Corridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? Yeah, it's got rockets and it's awesome. What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in the Area Zero waiting... To finally be reunited with Cordon. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'd be if we can get the family together after all this time. Family, huh? Sounds nice. We could proceed, Dedem. Please disable the next lock using the central panel there. So we're going to just say push the button. And you back at home, you should press the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to the final research station. But we'll continue that next time. Bye-bye.